Alright guys, don't ask me why I'm filming like over here, like literally this place. It's just, yeah, it is what it is, okay? Because I just decided to do something a little bit different and <laughs> why not? Probably not a very good idea, a wise idea to do this because Tarantula, they can bolt and this one is in fact actually a bolty species. It is a new world, like... I know, this is so random and yeah, it's right beside the road. I really hope that the tarantula is fine. I'm not worried too much. If this tarantula is, sorry if you can hear stuff in the background, there's like a fat tree there and there goes a bird. If it's packed properly, then the tarantula should be fine because tarantulas, a lot of people ask me, can they survive in these boxes? Yes, they actually can survive for like even up to a week. People who import tarantulas, yeah, I mean, it doesn't take one day for a tarantula to appear in front of your house does it from overseas no it doesn't so i see some tarantula poop over there as you can see fingers crossed i don't even know why i'm doing this over here but like i mentioned just something different i guess okay let's see by the way this tarantula is one of my all-time favorite tarantulas and that i've always wanted a female and i finally actually found a female one so i really hope that it is Oh, yep, it's alive. You saw the legs over there? Okay, please don't bolt. That is a Terinopelma. Okay, you're not coming out now. <laughs> that right there is a Terinoculus. No, 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 no. Terinopelma, says in my, the Brazilian blue. I did have a matured male, if you guys remember it. So this is him right here. Yeah, I sent him off for a breeding loan, but unfortunately, the person who took it as a breeding loan, his female actually... Oh! <laughs> there she is good thing i closed it because she's ready to bolt look at her man she's ready to get out of this enclosure or red container on enclosure she's gonna get a nice custom in enclosure when we go back so this is not the time to come out yet we're gonna go home put you in your new enclosure and then you can come out yeah okay hey get away and oh man i'm on an ant nest that's not a very good thing especially with a tarantula. So yeah, it is time to go back home, get this girl into a new enclosure, confirm female, finally. Yeah, as I was mentioning, my mature male, this one, I sent it over to a breeding loan, for a breeding loan, and he got eaten by the female, which was unfortunate. Yeah, and then my current one, I actually finally found another baby one, which became a male as well. So yeah, that's unfortunate. Anyways, let's get back home, get this big nice girl i got this for if you guys are wondering hey, what on earth hello <laughs> but yeah i got this girl for about 90 dollars so i think it was a pretty good deal i've not seen females being sold so hey 90 dollars take my money <laughs> all right anyways enough of rambling and that bird is very very noisy bruh bruh can you please? I'm filming here. Oh, there we go. See? He listened to me. The good guy listened to me. But yeah, guys. Let's go back home and get this tarantula into her new custom main enclosure. Look at the ant. Yo. Good thing the tarantula was gone from this, this wood. I mean, cardboard. Cardboard. Yeah. All right, let's go. We're on the way back right now. And if I didn't mention, yeah, this species over here. Out of all the times I'm keeping tarantulas, I haven't really seen this species, let alone a confirmed female. This is the first time I'm seeing a confirmed female. So that is awesome. And we are back in the animal room. Don't ask me why, but I actually drove close to like eight kilometers to go and unbox this in a new place. So guys, like this video for my effort. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding all right anyways we're gonna be putting this tarantula this tarantula into this enclosure over here so yeah let me give you a quick run through as to what is in this enclosure over here right sorry if you can hear the bike in the background Ugh, every time when i'm filming some interruptions have to come but yeah anyways here we have some nice substrate it is quite solid i would say i'm gonna be spraying it down a little bit just to give this guy a little bit of moisture this girl and then we have got some plants over here some no idea what yeah this is a rock yeah <laughs> and then we've got some stones over here some pebbles at the back there and yeah that's that's pretty much it it's a very very basic looking enclosure and i'm pretty sure this tarantula will love it in here there will be places for her to go and hide if she wants to but as for just the default enclosure it is quite plain but still pretty appealing if you'd ask me so now, I don't really spray down my tarantulas anymore. What I did was I took a bottle, a bottle that you can actually squeeze. And then I used this soldering iron to stab holes 
on the top so we can like make it rain on the tarantula it makes it better than this because this thing only covers the top like it only wets the top this one more water goes down so moisture humidity comes from the bottom usually tarantulas in the wild they dig down so they can find moisture at the bottom of the the ground right <laughs> if you use the spray bottle you're only going to get the top damp which is yeah if, if you're gonna have ventilation like i do like over here that is going to evaporate very very quickly so what i'm gonna do is usually i'll just spray it down something like this and don't worry it may look like a lot but at the bottom as you can see it is pretty dry so once the water sips to the bottom then the humidity will come from the bottom up which is what is more ideal for tarantulas so yeah something like that i know it's like a puddle but let this settle in and yeah once the water you see the top it's just the top that is wet at the bottom it's not yet so we gotta wait until all these go down and then the humidity will be perfect for this girl over here now spraying usually yes it does help but it's not the best as you can see the water has already sipped in and yeah let's put this girl in by the way i'm gonna have to get the water dish first obviously right tarantulas gotta drink tarantulas they actually drink quite a bit let's get some purified say water purifier it's just normal tap water a lot of people ask me what water i use for my tarantulas just ordinary tap water with a water purifier thingy it's not the purest water purifier but it's better than nothing let's get this into the corner oh sorry yeah put this at the corner over here and let's just put the tarantula into her new enclosure see she's already so eager to come out let's get this open man i'm pretty sure she cannot wait to come out oh yeah i forgot my tongs what is wrong with me i'm not even prepared for this i'm too excited because this is one species that i've always wanted and i finally hey, hey we got it all right let's take a look at this girl you can really see her blues look at that oh my gosh Hey girl, this is actually the first time I'm seeing her up close. I'm not sure if she's gonna bolt, but I'm pretty sure she is pretty eager to come out. Hey girl, okay, come out, come on out. Oh my gosh, look at her. Ah, so beautiful, look at that blues. Now this, if you guys didn't catch it already, is the Terinopelma sezi, whoa, 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 sezi mai, the Brazilian blue. That is absolutely beautiful. Hey girl, there you go. Enjoy your new enclosure. Yep, this enclosure definitely. Oh, whoa, she is. Look at the colorations on that girl. That is amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, these tarantulas, if you keep them as slings, you want to have them on sort of damp substrate because they do dehydrate pretty quickly. I don't know, that's based on my experience. I've always had good luck on them when it is pretty damp. But as adult, it's okay to keep them more on the drier side, but a little bit every now and then you can dampen it and it shouldn't hurt them whatsoever as you can see over here she has yep she has kicked some hairs in here oh my god there's quite a bit of hairs yeah it's all part of the new world tarantula behavior so yeah teranopelma says it my finally let me show you my small one which is unfortunately a male i was so hoping that it would be a female because the previous one that i bought was a male and it became a matured male so i was hoping i'll get a female from a new one but unfortunately that wasn't the case here he is he's up there let me oh okay let's see let's see so this is my terno palma sazimai brazilian blue and this one is a male yep you don't see the blue colorations much out yet but i think it should pop out in the next mold after the next mold because these guys as slings they look like normal tarantulas and as they grow older their blues start to pop out this one once he matures out hey <laughs> you guys know what time it is but yeah that girl is finally in a new enclosure hopefully she settled in well so yeah guys that'll be it for this video i hope you enjoyed this and yeah maybe i should do comment down below if i should do more unboxing things in different places because yeah it's kind of boring already me doing unboxings in my house hello this is my serata gyrus brachycephalus rhino horn baboon but yeah let me know in the comments below if you would like me to do unboxings in like other places because there are quite a lot of places i have in mind to do unboxings because if i keep doing unboxing in this room it gets pretty boring after a while so yeah guys let me know in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next video take care have fun have fun what? That just popped in my mind for some reason. <laughs> well, yeah, guys. Laters. Peace.
curious now it's been a couple hours since we've rehoused her let's see if she will take a roach i'm not exactly sure if she's hungry whoa she's not hungry maybe she didn't eat just now when i offered her the roach but then after about two hours she actually caught the roach by herself and is enjoying her nice meal